we back out here. It's 4 a.m. I got my son in training right now, so he's in the truck. He don't have a badge, so he can't come in. Let's get to it, y'all. Got another Amazon to Amazon route. CLT9 to Greenville. We out here. Anytime Amazon workers are unloading or loading your truck, always go to the back of that truck to make sure they put your equipment back. Pallet jack and straps. They've taken mines several times. Got this guy. This guy in training right now. My son just witnessed me pass a level one inspection today. New driver alert. How you like it? It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> you gotta be able to hear him good, wouldn't you? Six what? Give her your number. Yes. Eight zero three. The longest backup I've ever seen in my life. This dude took a long time to back up, but I did his first time. First time for anything. You gotta come up out of here fast with it. Put it quick like. Need a car payment paid, this how you pay. A lot of you new subs, you didn't know I sold my home two years ago because they were building apartments beside our subdivision and these are the apartments that they built. Look at them. They're super close. And this is why I had this sale. Hmm. Interesting. Got a quick question I'm going to answer, do a Q&A. I decided to respond to this 
question in the video format. All right, so shout out to Red Devils 10. He said, looking to buy a used box truck with a $12,000 budget. Any suggestions on a make and year that would be good to kick things off? I'm going to start at, I'm a risk taker, right? So I started, I paid 10000 for my first truck. That was a 2006 International. Can you find vehicles around that price? I'm sure you can. You're going to have to go to Craigslist, uh, Facebook, Marketplace to find trucks. Um, I've only owned an international truck and I've only owned a Freightliner truck. The difference between the two is I've had a 2006 International that had a DT 466 engine. That's a Detroit engine. Uh, that Detroit engine is one of the best engines that that was one of International's flagship engines, that motors that came in those vehicles. That truck ran extremely well. That motor was immaculate and it had 500,000 miles on that, on that engine when I purchased it. I'm not telling you to go out there and buy a vehicle with 500,000 miles on it, but what I am saying is, what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that your, the vehicle that you buy, hopefully you're able to look at the maintenance history of that vehicle because that's gonna be very important. You wanna at least know what you're buying, especially in the used market, you wanna know what you're buying. That's gonna be very important, gonna be very critical for you. My other truck was a Freightliner. Now I have a 2015 Freightliner, and I have a 2017 International. Now between the two, the Freightliner parts have been way more readily available, way more accessible, and not hard to find if I need any parts for the Freightliner. Those parts are typically not gonna be on back order. International, you may run into some parts that may be on a national back order like mine was a while back. Thankfully, I ran into a subscriber that had the part that I needed and he blessed me with that part and I didn't have to wait months and months for that part to come in and of course that part was dealing with some one of those you know it had to do with the death right one of those um i forgot exactly what the part was but it, it, it had to do with the death but thankfully he blessed me with that thanks again shout out to the to the subscriber who did bless me with that the main thing you're looking for bro with with, with twelve thousand. You know, I don't know if you're going to use that 12000 to put a down payment on the vehicle. I don't know if you're trying to pay cash. So it just depends on the scenario, you know, and if you're on a budget, you know, you, you definitely want to make sure you're looking at something with a decent engine on it. For the simple fact that if you don't and you only work with $12,000, hopefully nothing goes wrong with that engine and you have something, you know, you have some funds put back just in case something happens to the truck. Just in case any engine issues happen with that vehicle, you wanna make sure you have some cash on hand so that you can handle that. That's my response back uh, to that. Hope this helps you out, bro. Yo, the internet is a funny place. This is a this is a funny space, like this whole internet thing, right? I say that because there are people that will be quick to drop down in somebody's comments, right? Especially us creators. You could be telling somebody one thing and somebody will jump in and say something ridiculous like, all you need is a 26 inch with a lift gate. Like somebody actually said that. Try going out there buying a 26 inch with a lift gate. I know he meant 26 foot, but he put 26 inch with a lift gate, right? So I'm telling people like, listen, you gotta be aware of the box height of your vehicle. You have to know dimensions. Brokers wanna know like, hey, what's the dimensions? Like some, most times when they put what partial freight is moving for in the comments, they tell you like, okay, boom, nine, we need 97 high. Now, what if you roll up with like 94, 93? Because somebody told you all you needed was a 26 inch with a lift gate and you listened to that person and you blew off the person that was giving you the real game. The person that everybody else is saying, yo, he gave me, he gave me the real deal. But yet you jump in there and somebody else's business like, yo, man, all you need is a 26 inch with a lift gate. That's it. You don't need nobody else for nothing. Well, go out there and get your 26 inch with a lift gate then. Trying to cut corners. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to be calling and booking loads. Like my first truck, all I thought was I needed a 26 foot with a lift gate. That's what I thought. My first truck. And you see, my first truck was 12 feet one inches tall my box joint was mad low like 70 something from the bottom of the floor to the top of the door on the entrance that's why i was struggling putting just i was struggling putting amazon pallets in that thing I had to take boxes off 
keep taking boxes off just to get them inside of that inside of the truck super low <laughs> super low clearance but i learned from that first mistake that was my the first mistake i learned yes i had the 26 foot truck but that's all i thought i needed in the beginning so you got to know those box height dimensions you know why court shout out to court court and brief from trucking out the box you know why court is able to partial that truck like crazy like mad is because he has the same dimensions his, his box is custom with the swing doors and he has the same dimensions as semi trucks so you have to know these things like if you haven't been in the business and actually doing this business you wouldn't know this you can't just be home sitting at home watching youtube talking about yo man all we need is a 26 foot with a lift gate we we in there we gonna win nah it's a little more to it than that i didn't have nobody to sit me down and break that stuff down to me when i started wasn't nobody on youtube talking about that they was just going out buying trucks we didn't know no, i didn't know the height none of that i just knew i needed a, a 26 foot with a lift gate that's it so that's what most people are thinking like bro that's all we need and we good now you're gonna get out there you're gonna go to the, go to that dat load board <laughs> you're gonna book a load you're gonna automatically think your box is 97 inches in height from the door to the floor you got to get those measurements and the wideness of it of the box and you're gonna pull up to a shipper and they're gonna be like yeah this not gonna fit and you're gonna be looking like wait i thought all they said they needed was a, a 26 foot with a lift gate it's more to it than that you guys see these are just some of the things that you have to know and when you go in the game knowing this stuff already that's just going to make your experience that much better right when you go into the game already educated on okay what type of box height should i be looking for and if it's not custom about the tallest you're going to get is like 13 6 i want to say 13 6 i think i seen 13 9 i forgot exactly what quartz is but quartz is super tall super tall i'm talking about he can get every he can get everything in there everything inside of that box fully customized that's why he paid what he paid for for that custom mac truck two of them that's just an example that i wanted to give you guys people think they're in the know like bro you don't you don't yeah he's just trying to get you to 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 book a, a consultation with him but what i'm trying to do is save you from making the mistakes that i made and one one day y'all gonna get this concept one day y'all gonna get this concept that i would rather pay somebody so that i don't have to go make these mistakes before i go out here and invest a lot of my money into something let me talk to the person who done went out there and got his knees scraped up and 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 made the mistakes and bought the truck with the little teeny box on it already before I, before i go out there and make the same mistake it just makes sense i'd rather pay you so i don't have to pay later on for making a huge mistake i thought i went out here and, and dumped my money in the truck when you go out to these dealers they're not going to tell you that they're just going to sell you a 26 foot truck with a lift gate they're not going to say hey um let's check your dimensions first before we uh you know before you buy this truck now nah, they're trying to make a sale they're trying to make a sale and they don't care nothing about whether you are informed on the box clearance height that you need your truck to be so that you can fit a majority of the freight that you're going to go out here and try and book to put inside of that truck i just want to give y'all a game ahead of time all right thinking about running amazon relay freight watch this video next to get the scoop